हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर पी आर चौधरी फ्रॉम के केवा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक टुडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट पॉलिनेशन पॉलिनाइजर्स एंड पॉलिनेटर्स अंडर द कोर्स फंडामेंटल ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर हॉर्ट वन 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 पॉलिनेशन इज अ एक्ट ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम द मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन दैट इज एंथर to the receptive portion of the female sex organ that is stigma in flowering plant we have all studied pollination during our 10th and 12th there are different types of pollination mainly self pollination and cross pollination self pollination or autogamy it occurs when pollen grain from anther is transferred to stigma of the same flower that means pollination is occurring within the same flower it is commonly seen in hermaphrodite flowers or perfect flowers that means the flower contains both female that is your style stigma ovary and male part that means your anther and filament so these are your hermaphrodite or perfect flowers or it can occur in bisexual or between two monoecious flowers monoecious means in monoecious plants male flower is different and female flower is different but they are present on the same plant that is your monoecious flowers cross pollination or allogamy is transfer of pollen grain from anther of one flower to stigma of another flower located on different plant of the same cultivar or same related species meaning this can occur in dioecious plants dioecious plants are the plants where female flower is born on one plant and male flower is born on different plant or it can occur between two flowers of different plants but of same species meaning two apple plants of same cultivar golden delicious or they can occur between related species like golden delicious and red delicious so these are two different varieties but same apple species now let us look into the different mechanisms which help self pollination and cross pollination in self pollination cleistogamy occurs that means cleistogamy is helpful in self pollination in this flower will never open before anthesis that means flower opens only after the pollination takes place whereas in cross pollination chiasmogamy helps where flower open and their reproductive organs are exposed to external environment therefore since the flower is open pollen from another flowers can come and pollinate the flower in self pollination homogamy is helpful in this when stamens and pistil of the flower are maturing at the same time so if stamen and pistil mature at same time that means the anther can be transferred to stigma of the same flower and self pollination can, can occur whereas in cross pollination dichogamy helps where stamens and pistil of same flower will not mature at the same time therefore when stigma is receptive pollen grains will not be mature in the same flower and therefore cross pollination has to take place and self pollination monoecious plants usually are self pollinated we already saw in the previous slide where male and female flowers are present on separate branches of same plant this is known as monoecious monoshi and the flower is known as monoecious flower example in case of banana jackfruit coconut walnut cucurbits etc whereas dioecious plants usually have cross pollination in this plants will have male and female flowers present on different plants that means one plant will have only one sex flower example is your papaya and cocoa now let us understand what are pollinators upon maturity anther sac ruptures and pollen grains are released 
the released pollen grains reach to the stigma of flowers by various agencies or means which are called as pollinators meaning the way in which or the means by which the pollen grains reach the stigma are known as pollinators there are different types of pollinators like anemophily which means pollination occurring by wind mostly it is commonly seen in date palm coconut cashew nut papaya jackfruit pomegranate etc next is hydrophily where pollination occurs through water example in lily and giant lily in entomophily insects like bees butterflies moth house fly help in pollination example in case of mango guava citrus apple etc in case of ornithophily the pollination is occurring by birds like parrot or hummingbird we usually see hummingbird trying to suck the nectar from flower and this assist in pollination example is in banana and pineapple and the last one is zoophily where mammals or animals help in pollination example is elephant monkey or squirrels so these animals when they are transferring from one plant to other or branches they help in pollination next is pollinizers a plant or cultivar that provides pollen for the natural or artificial cross pollination of another plant or cultivar is known as pollinizer that means the source or the plant source from which anthers are obtained for pollination is known as pollinizers pollinizers are very common in apple cultivars which usually require cross pollination so in that case what the farmers do is they graft a pollinizer branch on each tree so that branch will produce a new different flowers male flowers and this male flowers will help in pollinizing the female flowers this is mainly required because of self incompatibility observed in apple or another way is large bouquets of pollinizer branches are placed in drums or in water bags near the main variety trees here in the picture if you see a uh, pollinizer bouquet is tied to the branch so bees will come and transfer the pollen from one flower to another this helps in increasing fruit set in apple so this is about pollination pollinating agents and pollinizers thank you